So I use these 12 amp Matec ESCs which come pre-flashed with Simon K but as I read and seen many examples of how well the BL Heli uh, performs I opt to flash it to this to have one shot and active damping it looks complicated but once you get the right tools it's really easy most important you need such a little programming stick you can get it from Hobby King make sure to disconnect the red wire from your ESC server cable I did this even uh, though this thing has no back so in theory there couldn't be any power on the red cable but yeah I only have one of these program sticks so disconnect the red cable have some 12 volt power because this thing needs power to be flashed the software side we have the BL Heli suite and there are some easy things you have to do you have to select um, yeah according to which ESCs you have there are two groups Scilabs and Atmel mine was an Atmel, or Atmel. Um, and I used this 0.5 here Atmel with Afro Turnigy USB linker setting and then you have to go to the device manager and in the device manager find the COM port assigned to your USB stick and this setting has to be entered here COM port 6 but you will see silicon labs string near the right COM port so it's easy to find it even without a device manager so then you just hit connect yeah you have to power it up first then connect and upon connecting I will show you this soon uh, you then can choose the blue series 12 amp for multicopter this was the settings I used for the Matec of course this is to be used for your ESC correctly so now that I tested with a spare ESC if everything works I'm gonna flash the ESCs which are already built into the quad which is no problem you just have to gain access to the server wires of the ESCs take one after the other and I took this server extension and removed the red cable here and go to the ESC programmer I'm already connected and if you hit if you hit read setup it will detect that the ESC is with flashed with some K or something other so you have to choose yes I want to flash it with build heli and here I select blue series 12 amp and the multi mode say ok and yes and this is the flashing and after this this takes about 20 seconds and you see flashed successfully in 25 seconds ok uh, I can read setup again and here I've, I saw you can change motor direction and maybe with reflashing of the ECs also the motor direction changed. I will check this before first flight of course. These are the settings that I had to change here. PWM frequency. I changed to damped light. Peak and delay is the amount of time the ECs wait on inactivity until they start beeping. This may help you if you crash and lost your copter somewhere and I also set the motor timing to high 